Hello and welcome to HRTC Sport. Here are times Newcastle fans were absolutely embarrassed. So how does a club have won one trophy since 1969? Prepare for a month where they have a UEFA Cup quarter-final and an FA Cup semi-final. Well, naturally, by smashing the heads off each other in front of 52,000 Geordies. And what was the reason for such a petty fight? Because Kieran Dyer did not pass Boyer the ball. Yes, Lee Boyer, the 30-year-old grown man. It wasn't exactly rumble in the jungle, but the sight of two Newcastle players sent off with jerseys ripped and Alan Shearer shouting obscenities at them, not a good look. Unsurprisingly, the morale went through the floor and the team lost the next five games. 16 years in the Premier League and it took Mike Ashley two years to relegate them. He got handed to him, it's quite impressive. The team had been pretty horrendous for the entire of the 08-09 season. They won only seven games, but their do-or-die display at Villa Park was a complete and utter farce. The likes of Martin's own and Viduka barely broke sweat. Then again, I think the latter only ever did that when he was passing a chipper. And the club ultimately went down thanks to an own goal from Damien Duff. Quite poetic really. Paying this man a wage for five years, don't think I really need to elaborate any more on that. For some reason, Newcastle just cannot beat Sunderland these days. It's not that hard. Everybody else seems to be able to do it. Since Newcastle's last win over Sunderland in August 2011. Sunderland have lost to Brighton, Bolton and Bradford. They've lost 100 games and not one of them includes their local rivals. And not only that, but Sunderland have comfortably beaten Newcastle. A treble of three nils, five clean sheets, it'd be enough to cost some managers their jobs. Oh wait, you'd think for a club starved of success that they might actually put a bit of effort into the Cups. No? Oh right, my, my mistake then. Mike Ashley said he's not leaving the club until they win something. I guess you'd all better get cosy then, because you're going to be staring at those sports direct signs until the day he dies. Newcastle have never gotten past the FA Cup fourth round in the decade he's been at the club losing to European heavyweights like Oxford and Stevenage. In the meantime, Portsmouth, Cardiff, Stoke, Hull, Wigan, Villa and Palace have all reached the final. Portsmouth have even done it twice with Jamie O'Hara and a 50 year old canoe punching a horse. Do I really need to justify this one? Newcastle players turning up in tuxedos might have been funny at the start of last season. I can tell you there weren't too many laughing when Florian Tovan was breaking out his three-piece suit in the relegation zone. The likes of Tovan, who seemed to care more about his hair than winning football matches, and Chancellor Mbemba showed a complete lack of respect for the fans, particularly when the club were getting thrashed every week. When Newcastle Newcastle beat Aston Villa in February 2015, John Carver's eighth game as boss. The club were 30 points clear of the relegation zone. Safe? Yeah, you would think so. But then most of them packed their bags for their summer holidays. I mean, they might as well have because they lost the next eight games. A club record, by the way. Not one you'd put on the fridge, though. They took one point from a possible 30 before relying on a final day win over West Ham to keep them up. Not that it mattered much, though, as they had hired Steve McLaren a couple of weeks later. And the rest, as they say, is history. Just like his career. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.